Ladies and gentlemen, President Trump has just gotten a midterm victory. Why? Because 10 Republicans are going to filibuster. Well, 10 Republicans will not vote for the commission uh, on the horrible tragedy several months back. They will not side with Democrats. So Sh- Schumer deforced vote on, J- on uh, January investigation this week. Commission, Politico. The bill establishing the commission which passed the House last week, is facing fierce opposition from Senate Republicans, including Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. They need 10 votes. Because of the filibuster, they need 10 votes. So, Democrats er argue the commission is necessary to investigate the events. All they needed to do was charge or indict President Trump on compelling and telling people if, indeed, this is their vantage point. If indeed President Trump actually committed a crime, they could have simply indicted Trump. They didn't. Just like they didn't find any Russian collusion. Just like they couldn't prove that he pressured Zelensky. Just like they still can't prove that he did anything uh, in terms of misconduct pertaining to taxes or insurance issues or anything else. They're very likely going to indict Trump in New York simply for political consider it just for political utility. The man, you cannot find any article the past 30 years talking about any ele- any ties with Russian operatives or intelligence operatives or the Kremlin or the fact that he had problems with Deutsche Bank or that he was running this rampant Al Capone type of sprawling criminal organization. He can't find any evidence. The only articles or journalism you could find is that, oh my God, he got loans at low interest rates, in like in terms of hundreds of millions, and just recently a $1.2 billion loan. But here, under the House proposal brokered by Representative... Okay, so the 10-member commission would be divided evenly between Republicans and Democrats, and members of the commission would hold uh, the power to demand records. Republicans, however, have raised concerns about the staffing of the commission as well as the timing of the commission's findings. So, obviously... Democrats don't want to indict him in a court of law or they don't want to, I should say, actually level charges against President Trump. Okay, the stalemate is reviving questions for Democrats about what, if anything, uh, if about what, if anything, can pick up the 10 GOP votes needed for most legislation to pass the Senate. Filibuster looms over uh, the January the Democratic Party Commission, The Hill. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Hit subscribe to H.A. Goodman's other channel. I'll have a segment below on H.A. Goodman's other channel. Actually, I have a link to H.A. Goodman's other channel below. I have a segment that that has, um, you know, I guess uh, angered some people or disappointed. I don't know. But it's true. It, just watch the watch the segment in its entirety on H.A. Goodman's other channel, my latest one on um, Representative Green. Okay, if you want to tank President Trump's chances, then you then then you either believe and you'll either believe in absurd message boards that I I said would be completely detrimental and harmful and w- that were the most ludicrous tinfoil hat nonsense. This representative is like a walking message board. It she is the equivalent, the GOP equivalent of AOC, except AOC has every possible conceivable advantage in terms of public relations. So completely, like, moronic statements are swept under the rug or spun to to where, like, there's some logic or, or um, you know, there, there's something acceptable about the statement because, gosh, you know, it's morally, we're talking about morality. So, in this battle of most outrageous, extreme, hyperbolic statements, you don't need the Republican equivalent of AOC, because that's going to tank Trump's chances in 2024. It will not help President Trump. It's basically like a human message board. So, or have, it's basically like having a human message board. But here, it'd be the first time Republicans have successfully used the Senate's Rule book to block a, a bill viewed by Democrats as a big priority. Okay, so 
The stalemate is, re- is reviving questions for Democrats about what, if any- anything, can pick up the 10 GOP votes. They're not going to get the 10 GOP votes because even Republicans like Susan Collins and Mitt Romney, even they understand that if Democrats really wanted to level charges against Trump for compelling and allegedly inciting people to commit a violent and criminal acts, then they could have done so. The mayor of D.C. and the attorney general of D.C. simply could have leveled charges at Trump. They didn't do so. You have Eric Swalwell and others, uh, you know, suing Trump, but that's not, that's public relations. If you commit, if you break a legal statute, then uh, if you're President Trump, one would think you would suffer the consequences. But Democrats love to talk about the rule of law and then use everything other than the rule of law. Find a legal statute that Trump broke and then in a court of law, Go after him, especially if you don't need a commission to fill the airwaves and get people even more apoplectic and hysterical regarding Trump's rampant criminality, which they just can't find. Now the whole thing on the left is MSNBC. Others are like, oh, well, how come he hasn't been indicted yet? That's almost certainly coming because New York wants retribution and they don't care if he defeats them in a court of law. And an indicted Trump will still get 74 million, probably more Americans. And that's what they don't understand. Nobody cares if Trump is indicted by New York because they'll see it as completely and utterly partisan. They will not view it as the rule of law. They will see it as a completely partisan political stunt. Where they're just trying, and then the average human being, the average citizen of all different backgrounds will say, okay, if they go after a former president, they can go after you, me, family members, anything. Anyone. They want, they still want retribution. They're still mortified that a person with zero political background completely obliterated the Clinton dynasty, then the Bush dynasty, well, actually, the Bush dynasty, then the Clinton dynasty, then the Romney dynasty, now the Cheney dynasty. He's completely upending these families. And they don't like his personality, and everything was his fault from the pandemic to, um, I mean, every other crisis. And we had record low unemployment, but they convinced themselves that he was, the, he was tearing up democracy. And then you have Joe Scarborough, who was like, you know, leave, leave if you don't like, uh, if you don't like the... Um, if, if, you, if you dare question any results, it's like you spent, Joe Scarborough and others spent four years and they stayed utilizing intelligence operatives and, and very biased, completely partisan uh, former intelligence chiefs that, that has zero authority or right to go after an incoming presidential candidate. Under high to moderate confidence assessments, but George Joe Scarborough never uh, he he doesn't he didn't care for four years blaming Trump for or, or accusing or uh, with allegations uh, insinuating that Trump worked with Russia that he was a Putin puppet he should have been tougher on 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 Putin Th- these sensibilities from from Republicans and Democrats who don't like Trump their sensibilities have now been politicized their 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 feelings. And that what they view to be um, proper etiquette or uh, decorum or protocol, what they view to be um, civil is now part of American democracy. It has nothing to do with American democracy. The, the sensibilities of Bush Republicans and Democrats and Hollywood, and media, and wonderful morally superior liberals have have nothing to do with democracy. Democracy was is an example of what's taking place in Arizona. They went through the state legislature, and two judges upheld the recount. So, what more? What greater example of democracy can you have? You spent four years, Mr. Scarborough, and everyone else on the left, um, and Democrats and media. You spent four years saying that Trump basically stole everything and he was installed by Putin. So forgive the Trump Republicans if they are going through the court system and getting judges to uphold whatever recounts they want. And they're finding interesting, they're, the, according to Trump and Trump Republicans, they're finding discrepancies 
which of course do not lead to widespread, uh, you know, systemic issues, but they every investigation seemingly bolsters President Trump's viewpoint. Give me your thoughts below. They'll need 10 Republicans for a commission. They ain't going to get that. It's going to be a miserable failure. Like most things, I mean, cr violent crime has skyrocketed. We have a horrendous crisis in the southern geographic region of our country. Uh, Biden's keeping Americans in never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts forever. So this is Biden's America. Give me your thoughts below. And so many other things like that, that have, it's never happened before. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now to this channel and H.A. Goodman's other channel.